Hello and welcome to another Glass of Bubbly video. This time we've got a real treat for you because we're looking at Christmas treats and pairing them with some sweet Argentinian sparkling wine, which both won gold medals in the dessert category. Dessert category, really? Yeah. Dessert category. So that's double treats by the sounds of it. Yes, it is. Cakes and fizzy wine. Who doesn't love both of those together? Um, so these two are the sweeter kind of style of sparkling wine, I'd assume. Yes. Uh, De Saggio, fantastic quality Argentina. Yes. To Southern America. Uh, uh, they, they, they've got this brilliant delicacy of delivering the sweetness in the sparkling wine without being too sugary. You think that you're gaining it from the actual fruits themselves, from the grapes. It's, it's a wonderful flavour. I love both of these. The rose is incredible. I'm really looking forward to tasting these. And cake wise, I'm not a cake person. I prefer savoury actually when it comes to sparkling wines and any kind of wine. So Oliver's going to have to guide us through this array of cakes that you went out to buy just the other day. Yes. Um, so, wow, we're going to have to do some exercise after this. I think a, a stroll along the beach is yes. required. Yes. So, what all, we do all, of these, all of these treats are available from local supermarkets. So yeah, you can all get them. I think they're quite they're quite common, should we say, uh, 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 cakes that you would get. We've got our cakes from Tesco's, Tesco's uh, with the help from Mr. Kipling as well, in amongst that. But any of your supermarkets locally across the UK or internationally will have these cakes. I really do hope you do. What about those fizzy wines? Should we go for the fizzy wine tea? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, so let's just do the brute initially. So what is this? This is the, let's just get the right. So sweet nature, nature, sparkling wine from this idea. Oh, already you've got the sweetness on the nose, a lovely kind of aromatic. You've got uh, kind of apricot. apricot, floral notes, peach. Peach, yeah, it's peach. Edging towards tropical. Yeah. But it's, it's a really tempting, it's making your mouth water already. Let's go for the flavour. Again, it's what I remember from this idea is a really good fruity sweetness from, from the wine. And here we've got, again, the apricot, dried apricot, peach, peach slices, floral. peach in, uh, in syrup, floral mm. notes. Honey, even it's really, yeah. really good. It's very classy, very classy. I mean, have another sip. Indeed, it is. Mm. So, did you say they both dessert? Yes, and gold. both both gold, both gold. Wow, both gold. The rose, this is my favorite out of the two. I must say, oh wow, 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 wow. creamy raspberry, mm -hmm. pink rose petals, lovely pink floral, pink blossom. Almost like a raspberry cheesecake. Yeah, I'd go with that. I actually go with that. That's even better. Raspberry cheesecake. That combines everything. Oh, it is. Raspberry cheesecake on the Very well done. Lovely flavours. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, rosé sparkling wine for those with a sweeter tooth. It's got red berry fruits. Mm -hmm. You've got cream. You've got the cheese. You've got the cheesecake. It's everything, and it, it's not. It does not in any way. You don't think that this has had an, any added sugars. You just feel that this is natural tasting. It's wonderful, excellent. So this is the sweet rosé natura sparkling wine from this idea. Where do we start? And I'm just going to have to pour a touch more fizz into my glass. Probably with the mince pies. Mince pies. So Christmas and mince pies. Wow. So how are we going to do this? Are we just going to compare the two or are we just going to pair and, and do it as we think? So I'm thinking potentially, I don't know, what with the mince pies? What do you think with the mince pies? I'll let you take it. This is Oliver's video, so... Let's go with the, let's go with the white one. Let's go with the brutes. Okay, mince pie. Here we go. Lovely little delicate small mince pies. Snowflake decorative on the top. That works refreshingly well. There's a burst of uh, sweetness from the mince pie, mm -hmm. the more of the dry kind of fruits, the, the, the raisins that you get in there and whatnot. 
But then you've also got the fruit flavours coming in, the, the lively, young, vibrant fruit flavours from the wine. And what it does is it stays the same level, the sweetness stays the same level, yeah. but the palate's cleansed. So it literally takes it all away, your mouth refreshed with that glass of fizz with it. It adds, it adds that um, peachy, apricot, almost tropical touch does. to it. Yeah, but it's, it, it's cleansing, it's, it's that cleansing. Because it's quite heavy, all of these desserts are quite heavy by the looks of them. Um, so what it does, it just lightens the palate. So if you're ready for another mouthful, probably. But that's really, really good. Um, what about an, a, another one? What should we do? What, what are these little delicacies Those here? Those are stolens. Okay, I'm going to try a stolen. Yeah, let's go for these. Oh, these feel quite heavy. Goodness me, they're a tiny little cake, but they really feel heavy. So goodness knows what's going to do inside the tummy. But anyway, here we go. What we can get for this one? Rosé or the... I'll go, you go for the, 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 the white, I'll go for the rosé. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Very, very good. A silky pastry sweetness. I love the, the fact that you can keep licking your lips and you've got all the powdered sugar on your lips. This is a, a kind of sweetness delight. That is really, really good. If the, the brewmaster. Is it the brew? Is it the, uh, the white? Yeah. Um, it intensifies and highlights the sort of icing sugar powder yeah. a lot more, so you want to keep licking your lips. You, you do, but you also want more. And again, I am not a sweet tooth person, but it, it's really, really good. Really, really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the... Is it, is it the exposure? There we go, locked. That's what I didn't do. So there we go. But what you have to do on each video is lock the exposure, especially when you're doing it by your mobile phone, which is how we do the video yes. here. You have to lock the exposure. I forgot to do that. Very, very good. But the, the rose really is excelling here. So I'm going to stick with the rose, but with the other pairings. Okay. If right. you stick with yeah. the natural, the, the white. Next one, Oliver. This is a tough job. This is a tough job. I think we should go to the uh, Mr. Kipling. Mr. Kipling. Kipling. So if anybody doesn't know Mr. Kipling, um, it's probably one of the most famous cake brands out there. Most of the time it's quite cheap. A pound or two a box, you know what it's like when you go to the supermarket, pick them up. But they've got a whole array, everything from the mince pies to cherry break rolls to ginger slices and everything. Lemon and also... These are these. Christmas slices. Christmas slices. Let me just... What are we going to do? I'm just going to bite into one. You're going to, I'm going to take a bit of that and I'm going to do what you're saying here is you're biting into one with the rosé. So this is the Christmas slice. Mm -hmm. So nice Christmas slice with a heavy bit of icing on top. Mm. I'm getting dried red berry fruits. But the icing is quite heavy here. So the icing is coming through. The sweetness from the icing is overtaking everything. So I'm losing the quality of the rosé here. And I've actually lost the kind of mince, uh, of, uh, the mince part, of the part of the cake slice, should I say. And the icing is taking over, as I said. This is not a wonderful pairing, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah. No, not no, for me. No, the, uh, the cake part sort of absorbed the, the sparkling wine and sort of null and void it, null and void it. Yeah, kind of cancelled it out. So it's a one-one kind of thing. We have to go into extra time, but I don't even think extra time to sort this one out. Too much icing for me. I think they're better on their own. Yeah, definitely. So you, that's what you need to do. You probably have, the, have this, the cake itself. Then a couple of minutes later, somebody's popping over, over a bottle of the Desadio, and then you're going to enjoy some Desadio. Yeah. What about, let's try another, is this a Mr. Kipling though? This no, is this a just a chocolate swirl bites. Chocolate swirl bites. Are you okay to cut these in half because these look yes. kind of uh, heavy dudes? There's a bit for you. Thank you. And we're going to go again, I'm going to go with the rosé. If you want to swap over, let me know. I'm going to go for the rosé in this one. Let's stay the same for a moment.
Mm, wow. Very interesting. That's quite heavy on the chocolate, but it's got some fluffy kind of sponge cake underneath. I get a burst of tobacco. I've still got tobacco in my mouth. I've got a tobacco a character. Really, really good. I like that combination. It's very extraordinary. Cake, chocolate, sponge cake, you know what that's like. The red berry fruitiness from the wine, but the combined, I'm getting a burn, a, a tobacco. I never, I don't smoke. And I know some people like Clint Eastwood, should we say, would be just kind of chewing the tobacco and spitting it out. This feels like I've got a cigar in my mouth and chewing the cigar. Mine was um, unfortunately a little bit disappointing. The, the chocolate <laughs> just overtakes went, it. Yeah, overtakes it. I couldn't, I couldn't get the spark in my mouth. So I needed a big mouth. To, to try a little bit, put a little bit more in this, you've got the bubbles going with that. I'm going to do that with the rose. So, not, not as good for you. I thought it was quite okay. I mean, I, out of the two wines, yeah, I think this is more sweeter in stock in, in its character mm -hmm. than this. That worked okay, but it was kind of an extraordinary kind of combination and end result, the, the, the tobacco. What next on us? Should we try this? Look, this yes. um, what is this one here? That this is looks dangerous. dangerous. Gingerbread and butterscotch. Gingerbread and butterscotch. Okay. I'm going to cut this. And see you at Bombay. Bombay? Okay. That's for you. Thank you. And this is for me. Are we sticking with the same colour wines, you and I? Yeah. Mmm. Wow, Bombay. I mean, if they can get that. Mmm. Really good. This is kind of a curry fine touch of curry, spices in the actual dessert. The red berry fruit from the Desadia Rosé really is powerful enough to cut through it, but you still get a lingering sensation of spices. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you? I think it's pretty much the same. You get a little touch of the sort of the fruits, yeah. but then it sort of heightens the spices and the butterscotch and the gingerbread, making it very nice. Very nice. Again, these are very heavy, very heavy desserts, very sweet desserts. So it, these are really good kind of combination pairings for these kind of wines. The sweetness works very, very well. So what we've got lastly? Last we've got profiteroles. Okay, the profiteroles there, they're looking very, very uh, tempting. I, I'm going to go for one each, so can I take that one from you? That's the only dessert I don't mind is the profiteroles, or eclairs I like as well. Let's just not uh, change what we've been doing. Yeah. I'm going to stick to the rosé with this one. Yeah. This, this could get messy. Okay. Mm. 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 Nice. The, the wine kind of cancels everything out and I'm left with just a bit of dark chocolate flavour. The creaminess from the, 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 the cream inside, all gone. And I'm left with dark, uh, dark chocolate, cocoa kind of sensation in the palate. Yeah, I've got to agree with you on that. Pretty, pretty similar. Well, I'm going to try that as well then. I'm going to try it with the, with the, the, the natria, the, the white. Very similar. Cancels out all of the cream, cancels out even the pastry, and you're just left with less so with the with the white wine here, a dark chocolate sensation. This um, kind of pushes the dark chocolate a little bit more in the palate, uh, intensifies the uh, the flavours. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a red berry touch to it. Well. Red berry touch, yeah. I think. I think the rosé is slightly more character, it's got more character than the, the standard brute, should we say, the, not the brute then, the sweet wine, the white wine there. Um, but I think pairings were really, really good. Which one was for me the best? Um, was it the chocolate that I got the tobacco from? I think it was the chocolate was, one. Yeah. The, ch the chocolate dessert I got the tobacco sensation from. And I didn't mind the eclair, because I like the dessert, the eclair. And I think that's very, very good. But to be honest, from somebody that doesn't like cakes, 
So when I'm ever doing wine tastings in London or abroad, and they bring out lovely desserts, I'm usually just taking a little bit of a spoonful and the rest of it stays. Most people don't understand. I'm a kind of more of a cheese board, should I say, a bit boring on that basis for a dessert. But this has been really good on So yeah. you know, you've chosen some really good uh, cakes here. Typical kind of cakes for Christmas time. Pick bit of small, uh, small kind of cakes. Um, and but these two wine from the side, you know, um, really works well. Weren't they something to do with a dinosaur? I think, I think so. I, I think so. Yeah, I, I think they yeah. have a dinosaur skeleton fossil, obviously, um, within their winery. So that's something about this idea that's quite unique. I hope so, but I'm not <laughs> sure it's true. I'm sure it's true. Check that out online. Tell us below if we're wrong. But yeah, really good Oliver. Very nice, considering I'm not a cakey person. I do like my Visadio um, sweet wines. Anything else that you'd like to add? I think that's about it. I'd say my favourite was probably the uh, the white with the gingerbread and butterscotch, just aging yeah. from Stollen. Stollen was nice. I mean, uh, Stollen, we, we all know, Stollen, very common, a cake. Not being a cakey person, I was very impressed with that, yeah. I must say, yeah. Uh, I like the size of the mince pies, so they're very small, mm -hmm. so that's okay. So usually I don't finish the mince pie when we, when we have one, so um, all really good. Mr. Kipling, touch too much icing, may I say, Mr. Kipling, but that's my opinion. Um, yeah, really, really good with me. Yeah, so yeah, that's good, good. Yeah. That's it. I well, think. I think, um, you want to say something? Until next time, enjoy the feast.